I could have brought my tripod down, but we're kicking it old school with my camera mounted up on a million things. Like something sitting behind me. guys it's christine welcome to parents who are new and welcome back if you're not today we're gonna hop in a time machine and go back about three or four years ago to when i filmed an episode of the ghost files they got more traction than i thought it would by no means does it have a ton of views uh, a lot of views for the size of my channel especially back then though uh when this video started picking up views people got like super rude to me in the comments <laughs> And I wanted to rewatch it because I remember it not being my favorite video that I put out, but it it was a little bit of a different video for me. Uh, it was a ghost hunt, as I would call it, instead of a paranormal investigation because it wasn't meant to be me offering this amazing evidence to a bunch of skeptics. It was meant to kind of explore an investigation a little bit further, go back uh, with fresh eyes, explore it a little further. Lacey, stop eating Sam's food. No wonder she's always attacking you. <laughs> My dog's drinking water. I don't know if you can hear or not, but she's quite loud. And also it was meant, it was also meant uh, for me to use the dowsing rods that I just got a little bit more. I've never been a dowsing rod fan per se, but I love anything vintage and spiritualist movement and I always felt like dowsing rods kind of gave off that vintage paranormal vibe, which was always just fun. You know, growing up watching some paranormal shows, they were always in there and I never was sold on them. Even as like a small child, like six, seven years old, people would bust out the dowsing rods and I'm like, I don't know if I really believe that's going to tell me that a spirit is here, but whatever. I think they're cool. They kind of give me that throwback vibe and that's why I bought them. And I don't really use them that often, but they're fun to take out of my kit every once in a while and use them as just something added. So we use that and I remember we used an app that uh, Natasha really liked just to test it out a little bit further. We did a really cool experiment with the app before. I really liked the experiment we did with that app. I'll link that video. It was kind of like last minute. We came up with the idea. She was talking about this app that she loved and we came up with an idea to use them and tarot cards and do kind of a reading. It was just, it wound up being really cool. You have to use things to get your opinion on them and that's pretty much what we were doing we were just trying to form our opinion about things that happened in this graveyard and uh on different equipment that anybody could get their hands on and just kind of get a feel for what we thought about them i don't know if i ever stressed that in that video i don't know if i just uploaded it and didn't say hey this is not supposed to be a deep investigation where we're like busting out the spear box and uh, uh, the recorders. Well, I think we did use a recorder, of course, but you know, we weren't busting out all the equipment and it wasn't supposed to be that. And I don't know if I ever said that <laughs> or not, but yeah. So another thing I remember, I put in like way more uh, than I needed to and I wound up edited out after it was uploaded just because it was just like such a waste of time and I rewatched it one time and I was like this is way longer than it needs to be like let me remove a chunk of time because I felt like it was just such a waste of time so I removed some of that after the fact but the mean comments came afterwards they did not come until after I removed the 
moments that I would consider a waste of time. A lot of the comments were uh, about our intelligence level, about our looks, a wide variety of mean comments. We can like kind of sift through them if they're still there, who knows. I haven't been on this video in a long time, <laughs> but I want to see if it's as bad as some people made it out to me because like I said, it's been a long time since I watched this video, so let's get into it. I'm pretty sure I just ripped my stocking. Okay, so I have to get my earphones. I'm pretty sure they're in this bag because, yeah, this is my, like, infusion bag when I go to doctors. Actually, I think I'm going to be starting home infusions, which is really exciting. That's cool. I'm going to have IVIG stored in my fridge. How weird. I have lots of, like, tests to follow up with um, before that starts. So I probably won't even, I'll probably skip this month in, with an infusion, which is scary because it's December flu season. Okay, so I finally found it. Oh no, it's 16 minutes. Actually, it's 17 minutes. Maybe I can skip over a few things. Okay, so... Oh, I can't even tell you how many dislikes it has because the dislike button is disabled. It has 41 likes, though. I do like the beginning of the editing with the typewriter. I do like that. I tried to make this a little more interesting looking because, like, nothing that interesting really happened. We had trigger objects today. You, if you oh, yeah, I forgot about that we brought trigger objects. It was just a bunch of experiments put in one video. I feel like we didn't need to talk that much going to it. We should have just, like, jumped into it, but we were trying to preface it a little bit. So, I feel like you needed a little bit more information, but I feel like I could have edited that a little bit differently. I think uh, me today would edit this a little bit differently. Remember, remember we heard Annie's name? Oh, my camera. And... I'm shaky. I'm still a little shaky. I have uh, shaky hands. I think it's like something in my health related. Then we got male voices coming through. Yeah. Oh, I added some sound effects. I usually don't do that, but I have to say like... I think I did that because nothing really happened. Oh, I mean, I had something happen, but I, I never had anything that was like amazing happen. And um, that was another complaint is people were mad that like nothing crazy happened, but I can't help that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to fake anything. The spirit that's attached to Geppetto and these cards, we would like it if you guys could communicate with us. And we would also like it if anybody that's nothing too bad right, right now could communicate. I'm using, um, I'm doing an EVP session. She has this app that we've used before. I don't know much about this app at all. I just know Natasha really likes it. And like I said, we had that really cool experiment we did with it that I thought turned out pretty well. Is anyone here of us? If you are, can you please communicate with us? Oh, the camera What's is your just name? so shaky. I wish I was more stable to say. I remember having an issue with being really shaky. What's your name? And I wish my that I brought my tripod. My <laughs> How old are you? I want to get these dates from the camera because if we get an age, we we'll be smart. We asked for a name and we got Brendan, which. <clears throat> Whoa, what happened to my voice there? We got Brendan. <laughs> it's not like Brendan was possessing me there. What was going on? We did look for these names, and I don't later on, not in this video, but later on after the video. And I think we couldn't find Brendan, but we found a couple other names that we got in a previous investigation. How are you feeling? I feel fine. I feel fine too. I don't. I don't feel. I guess like, that means we had like a really weird situation there, and um, I think it was episode five. Correct. We are on the ground. Yes. And they could the be ground. in the ground. Just ask why are you here? Ground. Smart. People hated that I said that. The words were pretty good. I don't think I caught any EV any EVPs if I'm remembering correctly. I'm editing the video and I had realized that I heard something that I didn't hear while re-watching this video, while editing the video originally. None of that. Didn't hear this at all before, but it sounds like a possible EVP. Ironically, it comes right at the moment where I am kind of begging for an EVP. I'm just saying that this is your last chance before we end the EVP session. So if you would like to say something, 
I will possibly hear it later. And I feel like I hear something coming through. Is it something or is it nothing? I can't really tell you guys. Too much time has passed, but I felt like it was noteworthy and I felt like I should highlight that as I just now realized it. So I'm going to loop that possible EVP for you guys. Um, tell me what you think it is. I have no idea. It could be something natural that I just didn't notice because this was like three years ago. And I think it's pretty cool. Or if you have a message, you can say it in there. Okay, well, I'm going to turn it off now. Thank you if you have said anything. Oh, and anytime I had laughed or enjoyed myself, people also picked on that. And I'm curious to see the comments. They are still there because people have a tendency like to write really nasty comments and sometimes delete them. So we'll see. All right, so we have to ask yes, no questions. And if it's a yes, it will cross. This outfit was atrocious. Is there anyone here of us? Please cross the rods if you are. Natasha is so much shorter than me. When she holds the camera at me, I look so weird. If we were talking to you, please cross the rods. So one thing, it was windy, so I did an experiment on a follow-up video, which is probably like the next video that I uploaded, where I put two fans on high facing me, held my rods the way I was holding them, and tried to see if they would cross, and they never crossed, but they crossed a couple times here, and the wind wasn't too bad. It sounds worse than what it is. So I just turned off my camera real quick because I had a feeling I was running out of time and I was not. But uh, you never know. Never cross consistently. Do you remember my dad? That was fast. Oh, that is that is creepy. That was fast. That was what is that voice? That's gotta be somebody in the background. But what is that? That was fast. Oh, that is so weird. I didn't even notice that voice until just now. It went off. On. So I don't know how to work well, Natasha's okay. phone. We have completely different phones, and I don't know if that's just something her phone did. But I just said, like I just noted it like it's not working now because I have an iPhone, and I'm not sure which phone she has, but she doesn't have an iPhone. So, and I'm really bad with technology. Anything I haven't used um, quite a bit or haven't experimented with and tried out, I will not really be able to work for a little bit. So, um. I'm not going to say it's paranormal or anything, but I just thought I'd tell you, like, it turned off. The problem with these apps is I feel like you're trying to piece, to like, all of them, like, the Oculus, any app like this, you try to piece together these words, that's the problem with them. Are you he doesn't visit no more? I've wow. only had them cross a few times I'm going to tell your dad to visit Annie. Anton, are you here? Stop. I don't think Anton is buried there because it doesn't have a death date, but I'm pretty sure, I can't remember what date he died, but I'm pretty, or what date he was born, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be alive today. I cannot remember, but. So, just so it's just Annie. Annie. Look. Wow, that was a rhetorical question, too. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. It crossed on a rhetorical question. Uh, Ethan, are you Bailey's friend? Wow. It, that crossed so fast. Let me rewatch that part. Lacey just farted on camera. <laughs> I, I, she's so close. I'm pretty sure it's going to pick it up. Her hands look really stationary cross really quickly. That was weird. Was there wind in that moment? Although, like I said, there was a little bit. And like I said, go watch the recap where I have two fans on me and the, the rods are not crossing. So I lost the clip that I was reacting to, but personally, I feel like I make a pretty good point. So I want to reiterate that point. But let me tell you the reason why I made the point in the first place. So people often get mad at me for asking the question, are they buried in the graveyard? And this is my response. People hate when I ask this question, 
but I always think it's really weird that everyone assumes that if you go into a graveyard and you have any sort of paranormal experience, that it can only be linked to the graveyard, especially this graveyard. It's not that old. There are a lot of people buried here, but it's not that old, and the land is so much older than the graveyard. So I always ask that to see if it's connected to the land, the graveyard, or the nearby houses, because it could be connected to some of the nearby houses. It's very possible, and I don't think that that's a weird question to ask, because it's pretty naive to think that, um, I don't even know how old this graveyard is, say it's 80 years old, to think that the history of anything could only go back to those 80 years. Like this land has been around for much longer than that. Before we get to this part of the video, I wanted to say I was exploring my beliefs a lot more um, around this time. I was trying to figure out what I believed pertaining towards certain things, and demons were one of them. So I always leaned towards no, always. My whole life, just how I, even when I was growing up, Lutheran, I always just leaned towards no. I was trying to do a little bit more research and figure out what I truly believed in. And this time I was exploring the idea that maybe they were possible. And I will always say maybe they're possible. Maybe there's a possibility demons exist. However, I would say like 99% of the time, you're not going to meet a demon. You're going to meet a spirit that is not demonic. That's just my belief. Um, and that's why I asked this question is because I was doing a lot of research. I was reading books and I was, uh, looking into what other people believed and I was just trying to piece together experiences and other people's experiences and uh learn from other people who have been in the paranormal field for a while not Zach Baggins <laughs> other people and so I was just I mean I feel like I'll always explore that um belief but I'll never really truly 100% believe it and like I said, if they're real, like 99% of the time, you're probably not going to encounter a demon. Juan was not very nice. Was he a demon? Oh, I don't know if I like that. They did cross. But again, I'm not sold on dowsing rats. So, alright, so I just want to get to the pictures. Because the pictures were weird, I remember. And please tell me I zoom in. The pictures were weird. I still to this day think they're weird. I'm pretty sure I have them on my computer somewhere. Like, they're weird. Like, I'm, I'm always the first to say, like, orbs do not impress me at all. But these are weird considering the context of what was being said. And then, um... The second one, call me crazy, but it looks like there is, like, an upside-down cross on that face. Like, again, I don't really believe in demons, but I do believe that anything can mimic it and uh, make us believe that we're encountering one. So that's what I would lean to believe. But, like, this, for me, is so hard because I don't really believe in orbs. So my mind's like, no. But then when I look at them, I'm like... That is weird. And with the context of what was being asked and the answers we got, really weird. So that's just, I guess we'll have to leave that as unknown. We're never going to know. It still looks like a profile woman to me. And this does look like a face with an upside down cross on its forehead. Like, it is weird. That's what it looks like. But, um, again, I'm not, like, a big orb fan. I probably would not have considered this orb. Um, but, like, I don't see like any wings. I don't see anything like that in there. Um, the only thing that really made me want to include this was the fact that the context of the video, you know, the context of the things that we we're asking and the things the Dowsing Route's crossing on and some of the answers we got through that app, that's what made me want to include this. Okay, so I think we can conclude that nothing mind-blowing happened 
but I never said it did. <laughs> uh, my uh, Wi-Fi went out. Okay, there we go. We got it to load. So let's just uh, thumb through the comments real quick. Are you buried here? <laughs> no, I'm buried at a gas station. That was pretty funny. So this is my response. You do realize the land was not always a cemetery, right? It would be pretty stupid and vain of us to think that our world and spirits, if you believe in them, has only existed within the last century or so. Then there's the theory that spirits pass through. There are also homes nearby. There are stories of spirits looking for loved ones at their grave sites. There was a little girl that supposedly climbed up one of the trees in the cemetery and unfortunately fell to her death. We actually realized that there is more history than meets the eye to a place. I never understand why people think that only things that happened relatively recently could affect the paranormal aspect of things. I don't get that. Um, and then the same person said, let's hang out in a cemetery and try to stir up shit. OMG, grow up. What's your name? How old do you have some respect for the family, you idiots? Natasha was a family member of the only grave that we visited. <laughs> So it was like funny because I said that in the video and if they actually watched the video they would have known. Um, somebody actually heard a sigh or a yeah at one point. I think some of the, oh man, some people deleted the comments I think that they left. There was a lot on my appearance and Natasha's appearance on here. Oh, they're deleted. Okay, well I do know some people like commented back and defended us, which was sweet. But uh, yeah, there were a lot of nasty comments on here that are gone. I wanted you guys, this has, I wish I could see how many dislikes this has. How can you see that on here? I haven't like ventured in to YouTube land since it updated. Uh, it has an average of 83.7 like to dislike, which is a lot different from my channel average but I can't see the actual number I remember it was like 40 something for like so YouTube this is a uh, I remember it having like a fair amount of dislikes and a lot of like really nasty comments a lot of the nasty comments are gone like I said there was a lot of my parents a lot of my intelligence two of the ones insulting my intelligence are still there so also, that person never responded to me, so I feel like he was probably just a troll, but there were a ton. I don't feel like it was as bad as a lot of people claimed it to be. It was never meant to be an investigation where we put out, we took out all the equipment. It was just a couple of experiments that we wanted to try out, testing out a few different things, and that's all it was meant to be. I don't think it was actually that bad. I never said anything miraculous happened. I never claimed that it would be. Some people got really mad at me for not having anything more interesting. But, you know, like, I can't make spirits do things. I just can't. So I'm never going to fake anything. I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that do. I hear Jay Station's pretty good at that. I've never watched his videos. But, like, you can go check him out. But you're not going to get that here. <laughs> not gonna happen if nothing happens it's gonna be a little bit of a boring video i'm sorry like nothing happened i can't help it but i don't think it was nearly as bad as some people made it out to be um again i would edit it differently today and uh i did have to go in and take some boring stuff out that was just too much i was like why why am i doing this <laughs> you know why like, why do I have this in here? Nothing is happening. This is boring. This needs to be removed. And I would definitely edit it and film it a little bit differently today. But that's just the nature of how it works. You change your filming style, your editing style as time goes on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it. Was it horrible? Was it not? Not one of my favorites, but definitely not as bad as people made it out to be. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.